this is a 24 volt DC 2.2 kilowatt hydraulic power pack fitted with a 10 liter oil reservoir and a double acting 24 volt DC C top valve for operating or actuating a double acting cylinder comes with a 24 volt DC start solenoid safety thermistor to protect the motor from overheating factory set pressure relief valve set at 2500 psi can be set as high as 3000 psi uh, and, as, and as low as 900 psi tank comes with a filler breather dipstick with three quarter PSP ports tank and motor and pump assembly can be mounted horizontal and can also be mounted vertically there is a small modification that needs to be made to the oil pickup a hose needs to run down to the strainer at the bottom of the tank if you do want to mount it vertically uh, let us know we make the modification here before shipping it out so all you need to do is wire it up and uh, hit the buttons talking about buttons optional is available this two button pendant controller all provisions are made to connect the pendant controller to the motor also supplied is a wiring diagram so you can't stuff it up main cables go here large negative cable sorry goes here large positive cable goes here just be aware uh, we're not talking cables this size, we're talking cables that will handle 200 amps. So we're talking starter motor welding size cables. These things will draw up to 200 amps when they're running, uh, and hence why the thermistors are here, to protect the motor from overheat when running at high pressures for extended periods of time. Right? This is not a continuous motor. Uh, these are designed for inter intermittent use uh, five minutes every 15 minutes is a maximum uh, and then they must be allowed to cool down if you continue to use them these thermistors will kick in and isolate power to this start solenoid so the motor will not be able to start until things cool down so you've got protection there as well the c top valves have manual overrides they're fitted with DIN plugs or Hirschman plugs um, with LED indicators. This one here, even though it's upside down, you know, A and B ports and P and T ports are actually closed in the central position. So if you've got a cylinder under a load in the central position, it will hold the load. Okay, and then will only move when it's energized to run in either this direction to extend or this direction to retract. Ports on these are... 9 sixteenths UNO on the A port as well as the B port. No weird threads here, these are all readily available threads. Uh, the American slash Australian UNO thread, lots of parts available for these threads. Uh, we've worked quite hard with the, the manufacturer of this unit to improve its reliability and its quality over the years. Uh, these units have proven to be exceptionally robust and reliable. As you can see here, you know, codes, manufacturing codes, dates, as well as serial numbers. Um, German TUV certification, as well as ISO 9001 certification. So great traceability and quality assurance. Electric motors are also available in 12 volt DC with 1.6 kilowatts of power, 24 volt DC with 2.2 kilowatts of power, up to 2.8 and up to even 4 kilowatts of power for high power, higher flow units. It does come with 3.8 UNF mounting holes on the uh, the main pump slash valve block and can be mounted horizontally as well as vertically 